All right, what's up Homestead homies? We're out in the woods of the tundra today. It's cold and I need wood. So I gotta get my firewood on demand. We're gonna be taking down this oak tree right here. Um, we did a video before about taking down an oak tree and I got a lot of uh, comments uh, saying, man, that would make great uh, furniture or stuff like that. Um, you know, instead of firewood. But this is a pin oak and you don't use pin oak for furniture or anything like that because it has uh, threads um layered like threads if you will so the wood separates a lot um you know faster or it's just not as dense as like a, a regular like oak or cherry oak or or something like that so the, these kind of trees these pin oaks they're great for the wood cook stove they're great for heat but they're not great for uh making furniture and stuff like that so we're gonna get busy i'm gonna show you guys a couple tips and tricks uh, of clean uh, getting that tree down and uh, hopefully we just have fun and uh, you know get some wood to heat up the house now before I get started we want to make sure that safety is number one so I want to show you guys uh, a little something all right so we got the chaps we got the helmet we got the ears we got the eyes we got it all all right let's go get busy Man, how was that for excitement? So I'm gonna take you guys over and show you what happened. But basically, that tree, it had a real hard twist in it, but I thought I could probably cut it and uh, get it to drop. I'm pretty good at dropping trees. So um, what happened was when I got into it, it just, there wasn't, there wasn't a lot of weight on the fence side of that tree, but there was one long branch, and we have a pretty good wind. It's coming this way right now. And so what happened was, as I was cutting that and looking at it and doing my thing, um, I noticed that it looked like it had the tendency to, to turn and drop on that fence and uh, mess it up. And in this pasture right here, I'm at a neighbor's place, so there's a lot of cows and stuff like that. So I do not want to mess up the fence uh, because then the cows will, you know, obviously they always try to find the easiest way to get out. So um, I got the tractor and I began pushing on the tree a little bit. And you guys saw I got the tree to fall. Um, I did mess up a strand of bob wire, but I can fix that real quick while I'm here. But it worked out okay. So I'm gonna show you guys, uh, plus the whole inside uh, middle of the tree was rotted. Um, one way you guys can tell, here's a tri uh, tip for you, uh, especially in our area, that if a tree is rotten, um, we have red-headed woodpeckers. They only peck on rotted trees. Uh, that's their target of choice, okay? They don't really go into the live trees and tap on live trees. They'll always find them tapping on a dead tree. So if you see a red-headed red woodpecker in your um, forest area and, and there's a tree there that it's on, um, it's highly likely, 99.99%, that that tree is, uh, um, um, uh, I want to say dead, but uh, I was thinking up another word to think. Because <laughs> that was kind of exciting, man. I did not want to mess up uh, the neighbor's fence. I mean, that's uh, top priority. 
Um, so I pushed it over with the bucket. I usually never do that um, with a tree. I can usually drop it pretty good. But it just right at the right at the root or the base of that tree, it just had a little twist in it and it was rotten. So let's go take a look at it up close, kind of show you guys what I'm talking about, and then I'm gonna finish loading this on the trailer and, and uh, get it over to the wood pile. All right, I don't know if you guys can really see it that good. But you can see right here, you know, instead of coming straight, you see that twist in the tree right there? You can see it comes and then it just starts twisting, okay? So that's what was going on. So the fibers were a little twisted and it was moving it towards that fence. Right of that whole tree was rotted out with bugs and stuff like that. All right, so we're gonna get this back up on the uh, trailer and get it over to the wood pile. My drone ran out of uh, battery. It didn't run out of battery, but it's too cold out here. So I tried to get you guys the epic drop, <laughs> but it didn't work out. All right, let's get busy. making some good progress you know I'm all by myself out here but I'm getting it done hold on I can't hear you but uh, <laughs> I got this tree going uh, looking pretty good I'm almost uh, I would say I'm past the halfway mark so that's doing pretty good uh, the cameras uh, ran out of battery because it's cold uh, ran out of memory card <laughs> so now I'm on the phone back to the old school first days of the channel tried to bring you guys kind of an epic uh, you know, nice little uh, wood dropping, chopping, uh, hauling video, but my resources are failing me. So I'm gonna finish uh, cutting this up. I wanted to explain something too, I know, cause a lot of people were on me about my bar on my chainsaw and that I needed a bigger one, okay? Uh, that's an 18 inch bar. So I, that means I can cut up to a 36 inch round tree, okay? Three feet, uh, basically, um, and, and safely, okay? So anything more than about a three foot round uh, tree, is not recommended okay so you can cut twice as much um tree as your bar safely okay it would be awesome if i had um you know three or four chainsaws all different lengths and uh you know able to just grab one and do this and that but i don't so i have to work with what i have so if i tackle something too big um, i'll work with it then but uh, the 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 chainsaw that i have 18 inch blade it's a steel MS270C, really nice saw. Um, it's not really homeowner, it's probably in between homeowner and professional. Um, and I've had it for a long time, starts right up. I love the product, still uh, is a great chainsaw for the homestead. So I'm gonna get back on cutting this up and then uh, try to share with you my progress and then maybe if I can uh, get the batteries warmed up and all this kind of business, we'll finish up the video. Um, and I'm uh, just trying to get the wood over to the woodshed so we can stay warm. All right, guys, so I got the, uh, just down to the main trunk. I got almost everything loaded on the trailer. I'm gonna be able to cut a few more pieces. I won't be able to probably get the whole thing on the trailer, but uh, hold on, I can't hear you. <laughs> I, wanna, I wanna say something that's, uh, that's real, okay? Because I, I know a lot of you guys watch these channels. You watch Starry Hilder, you watch us, uh, you watch people living off grid and homesteading, and it's kind of romantic. And, you want to take charge of your life and you know and i love all that stuff okay i'm totally a proponent for it but i wanted to give you guys something real right now uh maybe you can think about and ponder you know if you're gonna um use wood heat and you're gonna cook on a wood cook stove and you think you're gonna be you know uh getting old and living in your place with no kids and and minimal help you better rethink your program because you better have some money put to, put on the side so you can buy wood every summer um, I'm in great, you know, I'm not great shape, but I'm in a higher good shape than most people. Uh, Starry Hilder's husband, he's in good shape. You know, we get out here, we get it done. 
and um, you know I'm uh, you know I'm 49, so I see I have some years left. But this is not like you know this is not going to be a 75 year old or 80 year old dude's program. So um, I just want to I just want to keep that real with you guys. If you're gonna uh, think about uh, heating with wood and doing stuff like that, um, you're gonna need to put aside some money and buy your wood every summer and let the young dudes uh, tackle the wood for you. So that's something to think about when you're planning out your homestead for your elderly years, okay? So uh, hopefully that was helpful for you. I'm not sure how this video will end. I'm gonna get the, <laughs> I'm gonna get the rest of this done. All my stuff's dead and dying. My, my memory card's full, the whole nine. So hopefully I'll be able to edit you guys an awesome uh, video from the off-grid homestead. You like my new look?